Hello guys, today I'm going to be talking about how to plant plants and the beginner's guide for keeping live aquarium, live plants in an aquarium. Now, a lot of people do it and a lot of people uh, do it because the fish interact with plants a lot more than they interact with your fake plants. Once I did an experiment, I had a fake plant and uh, this crypt in the tank and my fish would always prefer the crypta, the crypta corn. So, um, plants do have some benefits, but they also do have some things that are negative about them. I won't be going over, like, a pros and cons in this video, um, but I will be talking about how to plant them um, and all that type of stuff. So, about planting, a lot of people buy Anubias plants and they mess up while planting them. Now, a lot of people also like to put Groter Anubias, they tie the roots around, like, uh, a piece of driftwood. Or a rock or something like that. I put mine in the gravel. And so do a lot of people. But um, as you can see. That's the rhizome down there. I didn't bury my rhizome. Now as you can see. That is a rhizome. And a rhizome is basically. Where all the stems are connected to the rhizome. And all of the roots shoot off of the rhizome. So you don't want to have that buried. Um, some plants that. Um. Like some really hardy plants that I'd recommend beginners getting. Um, my number one recommendation has to be crypts. I mean, this crypt was my first live plant. I bought it back in April. And this crypt has just been amazing. Um, when I was fighting algae in this fish tank, um, I actually removed my fish when I was fighting algae just because the water was green. Now the water is clear again. But, um... This crypt, I had no light on to fight the algae. And this crypt was basically like 50% dead and I put it back I put it back into a condition with good lighting and it just shot back I mean look how good it's doing now and same with this Anubius this Anubius is also very hardy including in the same conditions this Anubius didn't even die back much I mean this Anubius is a fighter so I'd recommend getting either Anubius or Crips if you're a beginner hobbyist now, a lot of the times people buy, um, they go to like a main chain pet store, like Petco or PetSmart or whatever, and they sell plants in these little plastic vases. Now, sometimes when you buy a plant from those little plastic vases, they will melt back, like, just like this Amazon sword did. As you can see, it's a little melted back. Um, it's not as nice as last video. Last video, uh, was my, my new Amazon swords video. Check it out if you want to. And, um, when I bought them, they were just, they were 100% submerged in water when I bought them. I didn't buy them from a plastic vase, but, um, I guess the store must have got them from plastic vases because they ended up having all of the effects that one would if I bought it from a plastic vase. So I'd recommend trying to get plants from a netted pot, like, um... Florida's nursery works very nicely for me. Although, you can still buy plants from these vases. I mean, this Anubius came from... This Anubius didn't come from a vase. But if, the, if I bought an Anubius from a vase, Anubiuses are so hardy that I would probably uh, actually buy an Anubius from one of those little plastic vases. Um, I'm not going to be talking about fertilizing in this video, but if you do want to know about fertilizing, click the top right of your screen, and there's going to be a video about root tabs, although root tabs are not the only way to fertilize. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like or dislike this video, preferably subscribe, and eat another pickle.